all made by Tata. So these are the types of streets I love. <clears throat> Nothing changed for a long time. Good morning. Morning, sir. Wow. This is more like it. Hello. Nice shop. Thank you. Ah, and all the people are really, really, really nice. I smell the dried fish here. Wow. Dried anchovies. Ooh, got some fresh root turmeric there. Hello sir, how are you? Morning. <coughs> nice chilies. I wish I had access to a cooker and a pot and a pan. A chopping board and a knife. So if this video doesn't get uploaded, it's because I came back later and it was so much uh, more interesting. And I think it's only half awake at the moment, but wow, this is great. Wow, look at the papaya. Hello. <coughs> Ginger, 500, 100. So 100 gram for 40. So when you think it's 223 for a pound. So divide by 45. Yeah, so you get half a kilo for about a pound of the green chilies there. Premium, obviously. Those sweet potatoes. Woo. Turkish style chilies, Corella. Graffiti aubergine, as they call them in the UK. There, got the guys touching. Wow, fresh coconuts. Straight off the tree yesterday. Haven't even gone black yet or dark. I had some of the mangoes last night, absolutely tasty. So juicy. Just dissolve in the mouth, really, really good. Wow. And the little carrots here as well, I bet they're full of flavour. Chilies. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Naga. Oh. Too hot for me. Too hot. <laughs> Too spicy. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. You, you can eat. Yeah, I know. These are very hot. <laughs> I 
I tell you what, the prawns I had last night were so spicy, my fingers still, um, I can still feel my um, hand buzzing now after the shower and, and washing this morning, obviously. But yeah, they love the spicy food over here. So do I after 12 o'clock. <laughs> So for me personally, it doesn't get any better than this. This is what <laughs> it's all about. Well, oh, look at these. <laughs> Cauliflower looks pretty um, Unevolved, probably a lot better tasting than the evolved stuff that we get in the UK. Uh, banana blossom there, types of yams, different types of aubergine, bottle gourds. Wow, this place is great, and the smell, the aroma coming off all the veg, you can tell it's a lot, you know. People talk about developing countries and blah, 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 but they're eating a lot better than we are in the UK. Well, I can't speak for everybody, but freshness. So this is the inside the banana blossom. So when you see places like this, you can see why Asian food is some of the best in the world. Those curry leaves, I can smell those from here, absolutely unique. And um, very rare to see obesity here too people eating pure goodness. Look at the size of the okra there. Hello, my friend, good morning. Madam. Morning. What are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Yeah, just looking, thank you. Where are you from? England. England? Oh, I'm from England, yeah. Great, have a nice day. Ah, it's great, isn't it? Some winter melon there, some pumpkin. I really feel inspired to be more healthy. Even since I've been here, I've eaten fruits, prawns, vegetables. Hey, I just really want to lay off the uh, crisps and the chocolate. Some, a little trap I fall into in the UK, especially with TV eating in the evening. Pineapple's nice. Very good quality. The, the length of the pineapple here too. <laughs> yeah, nice. Is that an ugly fruit? So what else have we got here? Wow, it goes on and on and on. So five is a hundred, so it's about seven pence each for those. And I can smell the sweetness here. And I know it will be quite repetitive, but I'm going up the other side too. And these, if you ever really want to, you know, a curry co co uh, competition or Asian food competition, these are the onions you want to be using. Really full of flavour. Oh, look at that little yeah. kitten. Meow, meow.
so it must be a really good time to come to these places as you can see when they're um, opening out out of the bag straight from the farm still with the leaves on you can see that all this rain has probably done a lot of good for the produce morning wow, these are very expensive in the UK if you go to an Asian shop probably talking about 3 99 for a little uh, bag <clears throat> so I can tell what I'm going to be doing on my last day I've got a very generous uh, luggage allowance and I know I'm quite used to bringing some funny stuff around here you go <clears throat> I'm doing some cooking when I get home <clears throat> I don't know I know I know I'm probably not going to get many views on this video but one thing I can say as a foreigner as a Westerner when I go all over the world onion onion yeah nice nice big as well yeah yeah when I go all over the world the hospitality the the warmth the friendliness I feel is always so overwhelming at times and I must say it's a shame that the people the countries I go to and the people I meet I doubt they get the same reception in the UK I really do which is a bit of a shame look at these cute little chilies wow I bet they're hot I can smell the acidity from here So yeah, they're there welcoming. I mean, I've been to, I've been offered into people's houses to use the toilet, for God's sake. I've, I've been given food. I've been, you know, woman going outside the back garden to pick mangoes for me to wrap up in newspaper to take home. Oh, look at these little jackfruits. Can you imagine um, somebody in England saying, oh yeah, oh, you're a foreigner. Oh, come into my house. You can use the toilet. Let me get some uh, Bramley apples from my, it just doesn't work, does it? It's really so travel becomes an addiction it restores your faith in humanity it restores your faith in naturalness but I think we've lost a lot of it in the UK and it's it's nobody's fault it's just the way things are thank you but as modernization grips things really change not always for the best you can see the drug problems, alcohol problems, social problems that we have in the UK. We have them all over the world, yes. But wow, it really, really the quality of the society can be measured by these little everyday interactions. And I know it's a little bit biased because I'm a foreigner, you know see a big 112 kilo giant walking through their place like oh you know you're a little bit the center of attention I know that but it doesn't matter anyway that's real for me so so I'm gonna walk all the way back down the market now just taking the photos the size of those beetroot almost like yam might be yam actually <coughs> I'll give you another a tip as well Elephant foot yam are some of the most healthiest weight loss uh, properties yam in the world. So I haven't seen any here, but that's a, just a tip for weight loss. So thanks for watching over and out. Wow, what an experience.